hello, my name is Brad Heyer. We are here at the Peter and Mary Muth Interpretive Center. For us, we call it our wild wetland site. The kids get to come out to this part of the Newport Bay and experience what it has to offer. Here at the Upper Newport Bay, it's a wildlife sanctuary. It's protected, actually. So uh, it's great for the kids to come here. They can see a lot of different types of wildlife here. There's a lot of variety. Migratory birds come through here. So it's a great place for them to come out and really experience that. So today we are going through about four separate activities. The first one we go over is the food chain. We talk about the animals that live out here in this ecosystem, how food chains work, how toxins and pollutants, even if they get into the smallest animal, the smallest plant, can work its way up and affect everyone else. The next one we talk about is the wetland itself. We build what we call a wetland recipe. We take all the components that you find here, the water, the sun, all the animals, all the plants. We have them put together a little model and then we talk about what happens when it gets polluted. You know, is it going to start falling apart? Do animals have to move away? That's always a fun one because it's hands-on. Another activity we do is where we focus on animal evidence. We talk about what animal evidence is, you know, what lets us know an animal has been to a place without us seeing the animal. So we look around for clues of that, for uh, animal droppings, we look for, for feathers, for bones, things of that nature. And then we get to go bird watching too. And as I said, it's, it's migration season right now, so it's a great place for them to see a variety of different birds. The last activity we do is we talk about the different habitats in this ecosystem. Uh, the kids get to guess which animals live in which habitats, and then we do an activity to see if they were right or not, uh, and then talk about it afterwards. The Peter and Mary Muth Interpretive Center is gracious enough to host us when we do our events here. It is a beautiful place. It is free to the public. I recommend anyone to come down, uh, whether you're coming for an ITO field trip or not. It's very important for the kids to come out here to the Upper Newport Bay. It's one thing to hear about something. It's another thing to experience it. A lot of them haven't experienced this ever. And so I think to be so immersed in, in all the animals, the wildlife, just the things going by, it really does pique their interest and want get them to want to learn more. It's not just someone talking at them in a classroom, bringing them out to these sites and then having a lesson. They realize that they can have fun and learn at the same time, which is quite the concept to a lot of kids.